Hello and welcome to From the Mic Stand here on Art Echoes. We are back live at MASH and now we've just seen an excellent set from Chris Tabner. We're just going to have a chat about uh, what he's been up to and his latest EP. So Chris, how's it going? Yeah, good thank you. Very nice to be back on the show. Yeah, brilliant. Really nice. um, so we may have some uh, new uh, viewers. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself and your music? Yeah, it's been a little while since I was on. So. Um, my name is Chris Tavener. I'm originally from Northwich yeah. in Cheshire. I now live in South Manchester in Didsbury. And I've been writing satirical songs, which essentially to me means songs from kind of flawed characters, yeah, 21st sure. century yeah. characters, um, for a good few years now. I've put out yeah. a couple of EPs um, and a live album too. Yeah. And this will be my latest EP coming up soon. And were you always writing satirical songs when it was your own material? Or have you mixed it up a bit? Um, in private, I've written all sorts of stuff, right. I guess, yeah, which is sure. funny because I've, there's um, kind of a more sentimental song on this one that's yeah. not in that, in that yeah. kind of field. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I've really enjoyed writing songs from a, a character perspective. I'm, I feel like I'm more of a storyteller right. when it comes yeah. to writing songs. Yeah. I like writing songs that have a bit of a character in yeah. them. Um, and they're mostly from social observations, right. things sure. that I've watched other people do yeah. or just kind of... Uh, Things that annoy me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Things that I'm really cynical about. Sure. I thought, I just need to write a song about mm. this. Um, so, yeah, and, and people love sending me ideas yeah. of songs oh, I'm right in that vein as well. Yeah. So you've got your EP coming out. How did that all come together? Um, so that came together. I was I was afforded a lot of extra time during lockdown, like yeah. everybody else was, um, to write and be creative. Mm. And I found myself writing um, some songs that are like... A, a kind of more s subtle brand of comedy, I suppose, right. comedy like set satire, and I kind of wanted to delve into that because, mm. um, for the most part, I've been singing to audiences who are expecting to laugh, so I wanted to write stuff that was just free and that I could just write uh, mm. without that kind of um, present uh, motivation to have to do that, yeah. um, and that's why these songs emerged, which kind of have a, a sort of a theme to them. The piece called "Easy, Easy Ways to Be Happy." Right. And to me, they're all about um, these shortcuts that you can take that mm. aren't really ways to happiness. Yeah. They're kind yeah. of like bogus ways of doing mm. it. Um, so there's a song about life coaching. There's a song about retail therapy. Yeah. And there's all these little shortcuts that mm. don't really make a lot of sense, actually, when you delve deep into yeah. them. But, but are very shallow ways of mm. getting to happiness, I guess, shortcuts. So I see where did you record the EP? Was it home recording? Or did you go in the studio? And I, is it just you or a band? Or? Yeah, well, we actually, um, we, I recorded at Third Floor Studios in Sheffield with yeah. a guy called Aaron Bixke, who's a producer there, and he, we've collaborated before on mm. a song called Faking Cool, and I really wanted to work with him again, because he's got um, such a great sort of knowledge of music and, mm. and um, so many great tools at his um, fingertips yeah. as well. So we, I knew that I could create a lot of interesting sounds with it, because I wanted to experiment a little bit with electronic pop, even oh, and a bit yeah. of country yeah. flavour to it sure. as well. So I wanted to sound a little bit different, so I wanted mm. to work with him, and we basically recorded it just the two of us. Yeah. He recorded the keys and the drums, right. and I did the guitars mm. and the singing, so it's pretty much just the two of us in right. a studio for five days in his garden. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also heard you've got a band together, though, for the EP launches, so do you want to tell us a bit about that band and how he's playing with them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm very fortunate to get some session musicians in for that gig, and there's five of us, yeah. and two of them, you know, couple of them are friends that I've known for a long time. Mm. One guy is a guy called Sean Redlake who has his own material out and then two or three of them you know I've only met recently right. and they're all so talented as musicians. Yeah. I've mm. been past them with mm. them recently and it's really um, woken me up. I've, I've thought oh god I need to really think. Mm. Whenever I'm in the session with them I've sort of been thinking analyzing my own right. songs <laughs> again every time I walk in which is a uh, which is fun because they're presenting their yeah, own ideas probably. about what the arrangement should be. Well, I actually uh, know the keyboard player because we share an oh, office. Charlie, Charlie, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because right? he's he's from Macclesfield, yeah, he? he so is. that's cool. Yeah. Charlie's great. Yeah. Um, I really love uh, Charlie's playing. Yeah. And like I say as well, he's got he's got some really nice like Hammond organ sounds mm. and lots of ideas that you wanted to yeah. bring to the table probably. as well. And have you got a few support acts joining you at the gigs? I do. Yeah. So I'm I'm getting two ways home all the way up from. From London, oh, a brilliant. country duo yeah. who've just come back from a US tour. Mm. Um, we've been friends for a few years and I wanted to get them to support and they've kindly asked me to support them in Cheltenham. Right. So I'm heading down there tomorrow actually to um, support them. 
and then I've got an old friend, Harrison Rimmer. Uh, I've actually got two EP, EP launches, I should say that. <laughs> That's why I've got so many support acts. I've got Manchester, so yeah. I've got two weeks home of playing Manchester with a guy called Gavin Clegg, who's mm. fantastic, really witty songs. And then in Northwich, which is four days later, mm. I've got Harrison Rimmer, um, who's an old friend from absolutely years ago, and he writes great stuff. And then Nicky Phillips, who's right. a local Northwich act that I've known for a little while as well. And you've made quite a few uh, music videos with this as well. That must have been great to like plan all that out. And how did those two? Have you done a two so far? How did they come about? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, um, so the, the first one, I knew when I had the EP finished, I really liked. I really wanted to put out "House Truly Been at Life," mm. the song I played before, in a as it out as a single. But obviously, that comes with the challenge of bringing visuals with yeah. it. Yeah. And. Um, so we had to think big um, for that particular song. It's, it's about a life coach trying to show off his, his lifestyle. So we flew all the way to Barcelona oh, to do nice. that one, which yeah. was really yeah. fun to do. Yeah. Um, and then had to cut back on the budget for the second one. <laughs> Just filmed it in a yeah. theatre in Northridge. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I like both of them equally, because yeah. um, the second one especially was very tricksy kind of video. Yeah. We had a lot of reverse footage in it. and. Um, I always like to put a lot of effort into So it. with the EP coming out, is there going to be a third single off it, or how, how, are, how are you doing next? I'm thinking about doing a third single, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not deciding on a track, but if there is one, there will definitely mm. be, be a video for that as well. And then coming up next, do you have plans for more EPs or albums, or do you have anything else on the cards? Yeah, actually there's a couple of B-sides, I suppose you could call them, yeah. that didn't make it onto the EP that I thought, well, I'll play with them at the EP launches maybe. Mm. Um, so I'm thinking of playing one or two there. And then beyond that, maybe they'll be on a record or maybe I'll start writing again. Yeah. I mean, now I've got a, a couple of tour things coming up later in the oh, year, so yeah. um, I'll, I'll have some time to mm. write for those as well and test them out on the road. And are there any like festivals coming up over the summer that people can catch you at? Oh yeah, definitely actually. Um, well, remember you asking all the right questions. <laughs> this this Nutsford Music Festival is um, right. uh, coming up. That's next month. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a couple more festival announcements to come as mm. well. Um, that I've not put out yet, so I guess people can follow me at Chris Tavern yeah, and sure. keep, keep themselves posted on that. So that's the best way to find your music and everything like that. I guess it's all in the usual places. It is. Yeah, it's on Spotify and yeah. on YouTube. Um, as you mentioned, the videos are all on YouTube, worth checking out, and uh, of course on Spotify and, and iTunes as well. Apple Music. Great, and uh, before we go, I just want to remind people their dates and when they can see you launch the EP. Yeah, uh, true professional. <laughs> uh, yes, Thursday 19th of May uh, at 33 Oldham Street in Manchester. Yeah. That's the very first EP launch. And then the Salty Dog in Northwich on Sunday 22nd of May is the second EP launch, and we'll be doing the same show at mm. both. Um, the full band will be there at mm. both dates um, with different support acts and the votes should be really good nights so if anyone lives local pop down brilliant well thanks for coming on the show cheers thank you